Hello friends, and welcome to 21 Outfits for 2021. For the first outfit, I wanted to start out with a banger. And by banger, I mean this top. It's got a green swirl pattern going throughout with this super cool texture along the body. I just love it because it's got this front slice up detail that just screams vintage. It's just got a lot of pleating and it's just so cool. I just paired it with some more simple black pieces to just let it stand out. I have been loving sweater vests, and when I found this red button one, I knew I had to pick it up. It has the perfect oversized grandpa fit, and I just styled it with a white button up and a little plaid skirt, with the shirt peeking below the vest to bring a little youth to the look. I think it adds a lot of depth to the outfit with all the layering. I have on my little cowboy boots, which are pretty slim to balance out the oversized look up top. Everyone has been layering collars under tops for a while now, and I am no different. I paired this little black knit short sleeve cardigan underneath this white vest for a little bit of layering action. I also just put my little plaid skirt underneath just for some color. I really had to do my take on the schoolgirl outfit with these chunky heeled loafers and these sheer socks. I think it just adds that extra little touch. Alright, you've heard of funky pant, but what about funky top? I got this the other week and sometimes when I stare at it for too long, I think that it's staring back at me. Anyways, I paired it with my little black pleated skirt just so my top can shine. I did put on the same chunky heeled patent loafers with just the socks again, and it really makes me feel like a sexy school counselor. Is that bad? I love animal prints, and zebra used to be my thing. I remember I sharpied rainbow zebra print on my sister's old covers when I was little, and I have no regrets. Sadly, this is just normal zebra, but it has this amazing faux fur collar to make up for it. Ugh, where's the diversity? I need some color in here. I kept this look monochromatic though, just to keep in line with the print. Can we get a round of applause for this cardigan? She's shy, but she made it out of my closet finally. The checkerboard quilt look is amazing on this with the bright pink and orange. Ugh, wah. Big kiss to this baby. I paired it with just a little white crop top underneath and my black skirt. Although if I had a sufficient white mini skirt, I'd wear it here to keep that brighter vibe. All right, outfit scenario. You have to talk your way out of speeding ticket in court, but you have to go out with friends right after. Does that even make sense? I have this bright orange turtleneck on with my classic all black look. This blazer has these amazing cutouts on the back which just let the orange peek out like little wings and the shape flares out at the bottom which I think works really well for me. I like that although the majority of this is black and pretty streamlined, the orange really adds that fun little touch. Yes ma'am, it is time for the double denim Canadian tuxedo moment. I thrifted this little vintage cropped jacket by Angel Jeans, and it is amazing. It has amazing asymmetrical zippers and openings, it's wild. I knew it was meant to be when the wash matched perfectly with these Levi's 550s that I own from the little boy section. I just styled it with a little cropped cardigan just for a simple break in color. And then I have on my platform docks for some height. This leather blazer is one of my favorites in my closet. It gives me the perfect boxy shoulder look that I'm looking for when I want to walk around and look unapproachable. I wore this little collared shirt vest thing underneath and I just did a little mini crop with it tucked into my bra, which is something I never got because I swear my shirt always comes undone. I'm just wearing these long split hem leggings from Zara, which just keep to that mean girl vibe I'm going for. This to me is my version of an upgraded sweats outfit, and ideally what I'd probably wear to the grocery store to buy apple juice. I've got my little cropped cardigan with these super comfy drawstring pants. Not really made of sweatpant material, but it's a nice pastel knit fabric that falls great on my platform sneaks. Of course if it's a little chilly to be wearing a crop top, this would be super easy to throw in a zip up and just call it a day.
pastels for spring? Who would have thought? I have this lightweight green blazer that is perfect for spring because it's so thin. I paired it with a little cropped tank and some jeans and I'm good to go. I find that when I don't know what to wear, I'll just put on a basic shell of an outfit and throw on some fun sneakers and maybe a fun jacket. These shoes are from Skechers and they're one of the most comfortable shoes I own. There's literally memory foam on the bottom. Another take on the sweater vest is to just wear it by itself. Honestly, I was a little worried about this one just because I wasn't sure about the silhouette, but it actually turned out looking pretty good, if I can say so myself. I just have my little Converse on again to match the lighter color story, and I look like I'm ready to go to a casual brunch. All right. Here's the cottage core look. I busted out this vintage lacy collar top I've been dying to wear, and I just tucked it into some long denim shorts. Formal name, jorts. This is so playful to me because of the soft cream color of the top and the casual look of the denim. Honestly, break out the charcuterie board because this outfit is ready for a picnic. I grabbed my leather jacket again for a different style with these shorts, kind of going for an edgier look. I've got all black all around with just the shorts for some color. I love the look of black and the classic denim and all the leather and more specifically, these boots make me feel like I'm in some coming of age New York movie. Just look at the heel on those things. I am a big sucker for straps and lace-up details, and this vest hits the spot for me. It's got these cool laces on the side that dangle, and it gives the perfect detail to this outfit. I have a little white tee underneath that peeks out just enough, and I paired it with a plaid skirt for an extra detail. I think that the boxy fit and length of this outfit makes me look a million miles long, and really, that's all I want. Paisley and Tapestry have been patterns and textures I've been side-eyeing for a while. Whenever I'm worried about trying a new piece or pen, I'll just pair it with something more basic. Since the jacket has more of a darker tone, I put it with all black to complement. With this black cropped turtleneck neck and my Bermuda length suit shorts I cut from pants. Because the jacket is so busy, having the rest of the outfit be solids helps to balance it out. Back to basics with this outfit. A little cropped vest with the tee underneath and some straight leg jeans. Perfect to throw on when attending your nearest farmer's market. And then you can match the carrots you just bought for some reason. Definitely not because you already failed your new year's resolution to start eating healthier. I'm exposing myself. I was a horse girl. I found this shirt recently and suddenly I felt validated for my horse owning desires. It has a super cute print with little jewel embellishments and a super cute lettuce hemming as well. I paired it with my skirt once again and of course cowboy boots. Catch me galloping in recess with my friends in this outfit. Yeah, maybe I do have a problem. Here we go, more leather. I learned this cute halter neck tank top underneath this wide V-neck sweater. I knew I couldn't wear this sweater on its own because it comes down so low, but this way it gives me some shoulder action without the R-rated belly button neck. These leather pants fit at the perfect length to go with this Y2K inspired outfit. And paired with my chunky docks, it's beautiful. I was starting to run out of juice here, and so I've just got my tan Levi's jacket on for a nice casual look. It's a great alternative to the classic denim jacket and is just as comfortable. For some extra fun, since the base is pretty boring, I have on this fun plaid Sherpa tote bag to break up the flat tones and bring in some fun little fuzzy texture to the outfit.
lastly, number 21. 21. This is my house outfit. My nice little cardigan and my nice sleeping pants paired with these fuzzy slippers that my sister got me. It's perfect for when my parents don't turn on the heat in my house. Jokes aside, this is the real laid back comfy outfit you probably actually see me in. And with that, that's all 21 outfits. Thanks for watching. And if you like what you see, leave a like and subscribe. It means a lot.